I have titled my message for today, How Our Growth Helps Us to Manage Difficult Relationships. We respond to situations according to the level of our maturity. If you look into your own life and examine the way you've responded to things that have happened to you, um, if you look back, you'll realize that given the same opportunity, probably you act differently. Uh, If maybe you look back 20 years, 30 years ago, something that happened and the way you acted, um, now you've grown 20, 30 years and you look back and you say, well, you know, I could have done better. Or if the same situation presented itself, I will not handle it the way I did back then. The reason is because as you grow, you mature in the way you respond to relationships. Things that happen that you were very impatient with, later on as you mature, you realize that you are able to exercise more patience and you are able to handle them better. Things that happen that really annoyed you, you realize later as you grow that you have the ability to handle them better. So growth helps us to manage difficult relationships in a better way. And when we're dealing with difficult relationships, we are also dealing with how we respond, how we answer. There are a few things I want to bring to your notice. The first thing is walk in wisdom. That simply means that live your life wisely. Walk in wisdom doesn't mean change your posture in walking, but it simply means live your life wisely or act wisely. Don't act or react to pressure simply because of anger or frustration. We respond wisely. No matter how much you are provoked, you have to walk in wisdom. The second thing I want you to know is redeem the time. Walk in wisdom, redeem the time. Redeem the time means don't waste your time. Some relationships will cause you to waste your time. You waste your time fighting battles. You should have stopped fighting long ago. You waste time on people who just stretch you and stretch you and stretch you till you have lost your shape and your focus. Redeem the time. You don't respond to everything. If, if for example, you're driving in the street and, and you're driving your car and, and maybe you made a mistake or somebody made a mistake, but... As the other person in the other car just chest to you in from his car to indicate that uh, uh, there is something wrong with your thinking processes or, or, or that he, 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 he's, he gives you an insult that renders serious doubts on the source of your birth. And all of these situations are, 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 are held against you. You don't get up or get down from your car and go and fight the person. First, it's the waste of time, it's a waste of effort, and it can be a waste of your face. So, redeem the time. The person gestures to you or speaks an annoying word to you. Just block it out of your mind and move on. Because your life is more precious than the insult of a frustrated man who doesn't have good vocabulary. Maybe he, you don't know where he's coming from. Maybe his, his wife has annoyed him and he's so angry. So he took it on you. So leave him to fight his anger. But you also get up, take off your shirt and say, well, is it me? Is it me? So redeem the time. Don't waste your time on issues that are of no consequence to your destiny. Your life is more important than reacting to immediate words of anger and frustration and believe you me in this world you meet people who really really drive you crazy they do with their words with their attitude but redeem the time is it worth it the third thing you would notice is that you speak with grace number one walk with wisdom number two redeem the time number three speak graciously a soft answer will turn away wrath everywhere in life whether it's relating to your brother or your sister when you're a parent and you see your children fighting sometimes you know the things they fight about 
uh, as a parent, you really wonder, you know, because this, well, he said this and he did that and, and he made a face at me. You know, sometimes people do things against you, you get angry, but when you are asked, you can't say because the thing is stupid. I have been in traffic sometimes and seen people get out to go and fight and come back with their dress, their shirts torn, their shoes in a gutter somewhere, their hair disheveled, disheveled, and their lips bloodied and heaving big breath. <sighs> Sit in their car and drive off. Now, if you knew you were going to drive off, why did you include this interlude? You could have driven off. This interlude has not helped your driving. It has not improved your life. It has wasted your time, wasted your face, wasted your clothes. But you felt you needed to respond. My friend, you don't need to respond to everything. You don't need to. Sometimes when you leave things, they die by themselves. Let your speech be seasoned with salt. If you are going to respond, measure your response in the way you speak. I want you to note, if you are not firm somebody's mistake can lead you into a mistake. How many times have we made mistakes because somebody else made a mistake first and we joined them in the mistake? Somebody insulted you first and you insulted him second. Somebody misbehaved first and you misbehaved second. What has happened? He has led you in the error of his ways. And many times in life when people act in a way we respond in the same way they act and end up doing the same things they are doing. It's like a married couple. The husband is, is cheating on the marriage and the wife says, well, if you're doing it, I'm also going to do it. What a man can do, a woman can do better. No, oh, it's bad for your husband to commit adultery, but don't be led astray into his error. You have your own life to live. You have your own choices. You don't respond to people's error. You must be steadfast. I must be steadfast. And I know sometimes really people get on your nerves. And, and sometimes you really feel, let, let me show them my true colors. <laughs> and sometimes many of us get angry. We want to show people our true colors. Do you know who I am? Go and ask. <laughs> I've heard people say, go and ask. When I was in school, I was dangerous. Go and ask. I thought you had matured beyond school. I thought you were now an improved version of your secondary school or university type. But how come when you are now provoked, you want to refer to the bad past and not the good present? People can make you do bad things. They can. And they can lead you. And it's probably because somebody is leading you in their error. They are annoying you to sin. There must be something about you that doesn't change. Anybody can come and play any games around you, but you still remain the same. Temptations will not stop on the earth. I hope you know that by now. The world is getting worse in terms of the boldness of people to sin. It's getting worse and it's going to get worse. Social sciences affirm it. We are not becoming a better people. We are becoming more depraved because we are removing all the hindrances. And we are acting out everything we imagine as it was in the days of old. People imagined whatever they imagined they did. That's where we are. That's what brought the end of the world then. And I guess it's going to end up in the same way in our time also. So there will be pressure. Women are getting more bolder in their dressing. <laughs> if, if you don't have good eyes you have to just either wear thick sunshades <laughs> so you don't see anything or, or you look into the skies as you are walking because <laughs> the things your eyes will see your mouth can't talk people are getting bolder and, and so you're going to find I wouldn't be surprised 20 years from now that people are going to walk naked in the streets what are you going to do? you cannot change them you cannot tell them to go and change their clothes because they are not changing your clothes. But you must have character. So they change, but you remain the same. We can't change the world, but we must be firm. Young people, temptations are going to get wild. The men are getting bolder. The world is not getting better. And what do we do? Grow in grace. You grow in character. So that when people change around you, you remain firm.